Transportation Secretary Pete Boot Edge Edge thinks he's found a new way to fund Biden's multi-trillion dollar infrastructure proposal. I think that shows a lot of promise. If, if we believe in that so-called user pays principle, the idea that part of how we pay for roads is you pay based on how much you drive. Uh, the gas tax used to be the obvious way to do it. It's not anymore. So a so-called vehicle miles traveled tax or mileage tax, whatever you want to call it, could be a way to do it. Here to react is truck driver and owner of D&D &D Trucking, Dale Bowen. Dale, thanks so much for being here this morning. So the idea of a miles paid tax sounds great at a think tank somewhere. How would it impact your job? Well, we already pay a mile traveled tax. It's IFTA. Uh, a lot of everybody, every trucker pays it. Hmm. I don't think it's going to help if they put 100% of the tax they're supposed to use now for that reason, to that issue, I don't think it'd be a problem. So they, th this tax would be on top of what you already pay, plus, you know, for every, uh, every Joe Bag of Donuts that wants to take a road trip across America, they're now paying for that road trip. Uh, does this pay for the infrastructure? And, and how is this fair for someone in, in, in your line of work? I don't think it's fair at all. I mean, we're the ones out here delivering goods and supplying America. And like I said, we pay enough tax already thousands of dollars a year per truck, you know, and wow. the big mega carriers and more. Uh, and so how's that fair to us? And how does it work where, okay, so we've now gotten rid of the Keystone XL pipeline. We're getting rid of pipelines. Those are apparently uh, not environmentally sound. A lot of what would travel on a pipeline would now travel on a truck, but now we're telling the truck industry potentially they need to pay an additional tax as well. Are, what are they hoping to do to our economy? I don't know. It's going to hurt me bad. I mean, I, I'm already I'm already feeling it with the, you know, the diesel prices going up like they are now, you know. And if, like you said, if they add more trucks to the road hauling oil and stuff from, a, you know, what a pipeline could carry, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. They just need to put the money where it's supposed to go because I don't think 100 percent of it's going where 100 percent is supposed to be. You've seen these trillion dollar packages that are being passed. How much faith do you have? that the money's going where it's supposed to, to your point, or the infrastructure bill will ultimately be about infrastructure? Zero. There you go. Well, I know, that makes I sense. I know it's not. I mean, you can look it up. There's so much, you know, uh, the gas tax and stuff is supposed to go for infrastructure, roads, and all that stuff. There's a lot of states out there. It goes to police departments. It goes to transit, public transit. It's not going where it's supposed to go. Not to the basics of the roads and the bridges that you travel on every single day. No, no, no. I've been doing this 30 years, and I've never made a trip in my career where I didn't go through a construction zone somewhere. So I know they're working on them. I mean, they take forever. They, they certainly do take forever. There's no doubt about that. And you would know. Dale, thank you so much for breaking it down, your common sense and your approach to what it would do to your livelihood. We appreciate it. We appreciate thank what you do. Thank you. Thank you.